Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Travel and Invest channel. Now, premium credit cards can be a great addition to anybody's wallet who travels often. They come with great benefits, great perks, big sign-up bonuses, and another cool thing about them is that most premium credit cards are metal. That's right, most premium cards are metal. Now, I wouldn't base my decision on getting a premium car off the fact that it's metal. You need to look at how much the sign-up bonus is. You need to look at how much the annual fee is, how much value it's gonna bring you the first year, how much value it's gonna bring you the second year, and all of these important factors. But I'm not gonna front, it is cool to have a premium metal credit card. So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna take a look at my premium credit cards, and we're gonna weigh them and determine which one of my premium credit cards weigh the most. But I'm not gonna hold you up any longer. Let's jump right into it. Let's jump right into it. First card up is the American Airlines Advantage card. This card is kind of flimsy. See how much it weighs. 10 grams, 10 grams. Next up, one of my favorite cards, the City Prestige card. Cool looking card. Feels a little heavier. Let's see if it actually is. One comes out to 11 grams. City Prestige, 11 grams, that's surprising. Next up, the Chase Sapphire Reserve. This one's a pretty sleek card. Getting a little heavier. That one comes out to 13 grams. Chase Sapphire Reserve, 13 grams. Next up is the Marriott Bonvoy. Marriott Bonvoy. I really like the design of this card. That one comes out to 15 grams. 15 grams. Next, another American Express card. This one's the American Express Gold, Rose Gold Edition. I got this last year when it first came out. It's getting a little heavier. It's coming in at 15 grams, 15 grams. All right, next this is the U.S. Bank Altitude Reserve. U.S. Bank Altitude Reserve, or should I say my Costco card? This one's really stiff. This might be the heaviest, let's see. That one comes out to 17 grams, 17, 16 grams. All right, next, wow, this one's pretty heavy too. This is the Capital One Venture card, or should I say my Hotels.com card. It's the only time I spend money on this card. Pretty solid. This one comes out to 17 grams. 17 grams, Capital One Venture. And my final metal car is the American Express Platinum card. Now this bad boy is solid. Very solid. That one comes out to 19 grams. So the American Express Platinum card wins, coming out to 19 grams. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I wouldn't base your decision on getting a premium card off of whether it's metal or not. You wanna look at a wide variety of things such as annual fee value you're gonna get. But that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button in the comments section below. Tell me which um, one of your metal credit cards are the heaviest that you carry around in your wallet. But until next time, have an amazing day.